Hi friends, in today's teaching, we will be looking at preventing users from changing their desktop icon or changing their desktop wallpaper in Windows Server 2012 using group policy. So let's get started. This is my server and I'm having this icon on my server. So what I will do is I will try first let me open my server manager and show you something. Uh a quick user a computer and then I have an OU here called HROU and then in HROU I have two users one is Marcos and MD and I have a group called Sales and Marcos and MD they are part of this group so I'm going to now create my First, I will create a folder here and then I give it a name. I will call it Restrict. Call it Restrict and I will place this image in this folder. And what I will do, I will go and share this folder with Sales Group. And then I will comes here and find a sales group and then find is our phone sales group so what I will do I will share with sales group now click done but I won't forget to copy this path because it will be needed so I'll copy this path and then I will go I will come and open my server manager again we select tools we come to to policy management and then what we we'll do we will name our object and which name we we'll give it or that's the same name deny is deny of service does and then we have okay, so we now if we, we try to expand this that is we try to expand the object we will see deny of service TOS that docs and then we try to edit this edit it this is the group policy management editor so we will on a user configuration, we will expand reference, we expand administrative template, and then we try we expand desktop and we just click on desktop. When we click on desktop, we when we click on desktop, we will look for okay, we are seeing. We are seeing desktop wallpaper here, so we click on desktop wallpaper, we edit it, and then we we have to enable this. If we enable it, we just paste the path we copy, we paste it here. I think we can see it, and then we have to apply it. We press OK. Then we 
expand control panel we click on personalization we we look for prevent changing desktop background we just edit it and then we enable it and what we do is just we click apply and then we ok ok then we close it then now now we have edited our policy so we have to go and link the policy to an OU so we link it and we select denial of service ok it so denial of service now link with HROU that is all user in HROU will be affected by, by, by that policy so we come and we try to update our policy by tapping GP update forward slash force and we just so now let's go and log on to this machine as either macros or md so let's log and switch user try to switch user Welcome has macros the macros password Sorry. So this is how to prevent user from changing their desktop background using group policy let's go and see whether Marcos can change his desktop background <coughs> excuse me this is Marcos first time working on this machine so that's why he's taking sometime okay you can see immediately he log on his desktop is blank first it appears has a windows 7 but now it's blank because we have set a default image for all the user in HROU so let's see whether Marcos can change it Let's see whether you can change it. You see, as you can see here, desktop background restrict. So it means that we have set a default desktop icon. So even if we try to see, it will keep telling you, oh yes, it will keep, it will keep giving you that sign. So So this is how we you can try to set change try to set or 
policy that to prevent user from changing their desktop background. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me just recap. Uh, this topic is just to prevent users from changing their desktop wallpaper using good policy. And these are the steps you can follow to configure a good policy that prevent users from changing their desktop background or desktop wallpaper. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thanks for watching this video.